This is the new 13 inch model Microsoft Surface Book 2 and at first glance it looks very similar to the previous model. This is Gadgets Boy and this is my review of the Microsoft Surface Book 2. It's still rocking that grey magnesium chassis with a reflective window logo on the lid. You still get that signature fulcrum hinge, that stylish and sexy to watch fold and unfold. It's one of my favourite things to watch and look at on this laptop and show people as well. Having said that though, the new Surface Book 2 is just as pricey with the price starting at about £1,499 for the base model, that's the i5 model. In this video, this model will set you back about £2,999 because this gives you the full whack, you get everything in this. But then it begs that question of, is it worth it? I mean, it's lighter, it's thinner to begin with, while still being able to dish out some of some serious power in here. It's fanless, you can even detach uh, the display to make it a full 13 inch tablet device, which means you can take it somewhere else and do other things with it. Out of the box, you get Windows 10 Pro set up with Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050, two gigabyte uh, GPU in there. And you also get the latest eighth gen Intel Core i7 CPU in this model with one terabyte storage and 16 gig of RAM. So straight away off the bat, you know that this should give you the best performance possible. Although I'm thinking graphics is where you might be lacking straight away. When you open it up, you're greeted with a three by two 13.5 IPS panel display here. It's got this glossy finish and it's got a 3000 by 2000 pixel sense uh, display with 374 nits of brightness, which is decent and you get 1600 by one contrast ratio as well. So you get nice blacks in there when you start to watch movies. Even when you watch 4K movies, it performs really well. With all that power, it can edit 4K videos in Adobe Premiere without hiccups. Uh, it's great for gaming, although you can't run it in full blast as you'll start to lose frame and stuff like that. So be careful when you're considering this for uh, gaming. It offers a fantastic keyboard with a good level of travel as well and clickiness. So when you consider who this is for, maybe you're a programmer, you're a business person, this is perfect. So when you code in a way, you find someone like me who writes articles every now and then, I'm able to type really quickly using this fantastic clicky keyboard. For ports, you get USB-C and a couple of full USB ports as well. You get headphone jack placed on the tablet side for when you need to use it in tablet mode, but it can be awkward when you aren't using it for that, unfortunately, because the wires start hanging down on the side, which is not pretty to look at. It's not sexy at all, Microsoft. Unfortunately, there's no Thunderbolt 3 port here, uh, but you get stylus and surface dial compatibility, so you can get really creative. There are fan they are fantastic accessories for any laptop that I've ever seen myself. For battery life, when in tablet mode alone, you get about three hours out of it. But plug it into the keyboard and you get around 13 hours of usage. Uh, on the front, you get a 2560 by 1440 camera with uh, Windows Hello support for logging in. And the main camera on the back is a 3254 by 1836 camera, which is also good. They can both shoot HD videos, which is more than what you need for, uh, for a tablet, for a, a, a laptop, a hybrid uh, laptop. It's front facing speakers are decent as well, although they're not super loud as some of the laptops I've used uh, recently. I really like the fanless design as well. It's nice and quiet. It, st it still keeps the laptop cool as well, so it doesn't really get hot at all, even with a prolonged period of usage. Overall, the Surface Book 2, uh, it's a fantastic laptop that is not only just stylish, premium and versatile, but it's also powerful, very powerful one at that. Uh, a couple of issues I have is one, the price tag. And if you won't be using this fully, if you're not going to be using, utilizing all, this, all the possibilities that it has to offer, then you should probably consider something a bit cheaper. Uh, otherwise, another area is the glossy display, which can be too reflective sometimes, if, especially when there's a, a bright light behind me and stuff. And uh, the inch as well can be too slow to release. Uh, other than that, those things are just minor issues apart from price tag, obviously. Um, apart from that, this is a great laptop and I really like, uh, I've enjoyed my time with it. And I'm going to be sad to give it back to Microsoft uh, for someone else to try out. But in the meantime, do let me know what you think about this video. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button uh, if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, feel free to drop comments below as well and share it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.